Hi there. When we start talking about directed graphs, occasionally we need some new pieces of language to account for the additional complexity of edges having direction. In undirected graphs, we said that the neighborhood of a vertex is the set of its neighbors. For directed graphs, though, we have to kind of split that concept in two, because now there are two types of neighbors. So I want to introduce you to the terms we use to handle that today. I'll read you the definitions, we'll do a quick example, and then I'll shut up. Here we go. Let V be a vertex in digraph G. The out neighborhood of V, denoted N plus of V, is the set of vertices that V is adjacent to. These are the vertices that you can get to directly from V, because there is an edge going from V to them. Those vertices make up the out neighborhood of V. Thus, the cardinality of the out neighborhood of V is the same as the out degree of V. And I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson talking about the degrees of vertices in directed graphs. I'm assuming you already know about that. Similarly, the in neighborhood of V, denoted N minus of V, is the set of vertices that V is adjacent from. These are the vertices that are adjacent to V. So if you're at one of these vertices, you can get directly to V by going across an edge. And thus, by definition, the number of vertices in the in neighborhood is the same as the in degree of V. These are the vertices adjacent to V. And that's it. Pretty straightforward definition. So let's just do a quick example. Here is a cute directed graph. Pick a vertex and let's see what its out neighborhood is. How about E? I like E, so hopefully you picked E. All right, so I'll just write the out neighborhood of the vertex E. What is it? Well, it's just all of the vertices in the directed graph that E is adjacent to. What vertices is E adjacent to? Well, it's adjacent to C, it's adjacent to G, and it's adjacent to F. So the out neighborhood of E is the set containing C, G, and F. That's three vertices, and of course, if we wanted to mention this, the out degree of E is three, because there are three edges going out of E. You also may notice that not only is E adjacent to C, E is also adjacent from C. So if we wrote the in neighborhood of E, that also would contain C. But let's write the in neighborhood of a different vertex. Why don't we go ahead and write the in neighborhood of A. So I'll just write this here, in neighborhood of A. This is the set containing the vertices that are adjacent to A, the vertices going to A. What vertices are those? That would be D, D is going to A, and B, B is going to, or is adjacent to A. And so the in neighborhood of A, the vertices going into A, just contains B and D. And of course, the in degree of A is two. A happens to be adjacent to no vertices. So if we wrote the out neighborhood of A, it would just be empty. Also, if we wanna quickly address loops, if I were to add a loop going from A to itself, then of course A would both be in its in neighborhood and in its out neighborhood, since A is going into itself and out of itself. I could just go ahead and modify this in neighborhood real quick to account for this loop that we just added. So now A is also in its own in neighborhood, and thus its in degree now is three, since three vertices are going in to the vertex A. And that's all there really is to say at this moment about out neighborhoods and in neighborhoods. The out neighborhood of a vertex is the set of vertices that the vertex is adjacent to, and the in neighborhood of a vertex is the set of vertices that go in 
to that vertex. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions or lesson requests. See you next time. Slow to love and quick to fear Could it take